everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDCO video looking at that Sun and Moon hype. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at a bit of a rogue deck I've made. And I know, you're like, man, you make so many rogue decks. But look, rogue decks are fun to make. And this one is a rogue deck that may be pretty good. Who knows? So we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Espeon GX today. So I've always thought Espeon GX was really good because, I mean, Psychic is a good attack. You're not really going to be taking one shots with it. But... For the most part, it's still going to be doing a lot of damage, and even Psybeam can be a good attack. I mean, confusing your opponent can actually be pretty good for you because some people, well, not some people, but some some people, I guess, would be like, all right, yeah, look, I'm going to attack you, but I'm confused, and that could backfire for them, and that's why I like about Psybeam, and for 1 for 30 isn't that bad either. Now, it's Divide GX attack I don't think is that great. I mean, it could be good maybe if you want to, like, take out... Like a Froakie, and then, I don't know, something else, but uh, it, I don't think it's GX attack is all that good. I think Psychic is where it's at, because Psychic can do a lot of damage. It's also great against Mewtwo Y and stuff like that. Now, Espeon is good, and it's a stage 1, so we're going to be running it with some evolutions, like my boy Jolteon. Jolteon has the effect to make Espeon be lightning, so all of a sudden now Espeon is doing damage to evil Taliex and hitting it for weakness. We have a Porion, which is a water type, which is amazing because it makes Espeon hit Volcanion for weakness, which is very important, by the way. So, Vaporeon is super important because Volcanion is really popular. And then we got uh, Flareon, which, the, uh, with Sun and Moon, there's a, there's a rise of a lot more grass type decks because you got Lorantis, you got Decidueye. All these decks rely on grass energy, so Flareon actually isn't too bad now because grass Pokemon are a little more popular than GX Pokemon. And even this baby Eevee that we got with Energy Evolution basically is a reprint of the one from Flashfire. By the way, it's got like a huge forehead. I, I don't understand why its forehead is so big, but you put a Psychic Energy on it, you can get Espeon GX and play on turn one, which is very good. It just means you get a 200 HP Pokemon in on turn one and stuff like that. Now, and the problem with Espeon is when you're playing against maybe Mega Gardevoir, it's not as good. Now, the cool thing about this is since we're using all these evolutions, why not run Pokemon with two more types? Now we have even more type advantage in this deck. We have Bisharp, which is both a metal and a dark type, which could be awkward against, you know, Mega Gardevoir, because Mega Gardevoir is sort of resistant to dark, so you're not going to be able to hit it for weakness exactly because you do have to apply the resistance but we'll talk about why that may not matter in a minute so this sharp we're going to be using for retaliate and also we can hit metal weak stuff and dark weak stuff for weakness which is really good and when you have jolteon espion and vaporeon i mean who knows maybe this Bisharp can start hitting like evil thals for weakness and volcanians for weakness so i think it's a pretty cool card to have in this deck so we're going to be running, running 2-2 two, two Bisharp in the deck to kind of accompany the Espeon. I think Espeon is going to take the game, carry the game for us, and then we're going to be using Bisharp to, to maybe support us. And we got two Shamans in the deck for draw support. All the Pokemon we got, we go into the Trainers and Supporters. We got one Eco Arm. Eco Arm is here for the Bursting Balloon, which I guess we'll talk about right now. Because Bursting Balloon is going to be a great damage output in this deck. So with Bursting Balloon, again, with Espeon... You're not going to be one shot and everything, right? Psychic ain't going to be one shot and a lot of stuff. Well, thanks to Bursting Balloon, that puts them in range of being knocked out if they want to attack you. Because you're still doing a lot of damage with Psychic. So when they want to attack you, it's like, hey, you can attack me, but that Bursting Balloon damage may knock you out or put you in range of being knocked out. So that's why I like having the Bursting Balloon. Also, it works well with Bisharp. When you're playing against Mega Gardevoir, when they hit, when they take that Bursting Balloon damage, Bisharp can come in and knock them out sometimes. So, Bisharp, it's good with the Bursting Balloon to take out Mega Gardevoir and other Fairy Pokemon. But Bursting Balloon will allow you to do have the damage and kind of control the game. I mean, it's like, I'm doing all this damage to you. If you want to attack me, you're going to get knocked out from that Bursting Balloon. Do you want to do that? So, that's going to be a fun card to have. Uh, plus, you know, with Stage 1, there's really no other uh, tool cards because Muscle Band rotated out. We got one Enhanced Hammer for, you know, get rid of Special Energy. Um, we got Escape Rope. Escape Rope's a great card. You can make it work like Lysander. Two Level Balls. Uh, a lot of stuff have under 90 HP in this deck. You got Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Eevee, and Ponyard. One Nest Ball. I'm trying this out. Uh, it's a good card. You can put a Pokemon on your bench right away. You can't use this for Shaman, unfortunately, because Shaman wouldn't allow you to draw if you do that. But I'm trying out Nest Ball just to see how good it is. I don't know. I don't know. 
I just don't know how good Nest Ball is yet. Uh, one special charge. Again, it's nice to get back those DCs for our Espeon. I don't know if he really needs special charge, but if you're playing against those enhanced hammer heavy decks, then special charge is pretty good. Uh, we do run one Super Rod in the deck, because Super Rod lets you get back some stuff. Three Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball can search out some stuff. It's still a good card, even with Nest Ball and Timer Ball and all that stuff. Ultra Ball is still really good. And I just actually removed one. <laughs> Great. I don't have the Flurge to take away Ultra Ball, by the way. Um, they're really expensive, and I don't think I even want them. Like, honestly, I prefer the Plasma Freeze Seeker Ultra Ball over the uh, Sun and Moon Seeker Ultra Ball. I don't know. I do really want the Seeker Rare Switch, the Seeker Rare Nest Ball, though, for sure. Nest Ball Seeker Rare is something that I do want. Because no other Seeker Rare of it. Uh, four VS Seekers for all their supporters. Uh, two Faded Town for our Stadium. It allows us to do more damage to Mega Pokemon. You can never go wrong with that. It also kind of helps us with the math against Mega Gardevoir when you're hitting it with Bisharp, so... You know, Faded Town. Two of those. One Silent Lab. Uh, this is good against Volcanion. Volcanion is still going to be a bit of a rough matchup sometimes. So, Silent Lab is just going to help us against Volcanion. So that, you know, they don't get to use their abilities. But with Silent Lab, I would run more. But it hurts Eevee. And Eevee is super good in this deck for energy evolution. So, I don't really want to run that strictly for that. Two Lysander. Lysander is a great card. You already know why it's there. Three Ends. Four Sigma for Drawsport. And I'm actually going to be running one Qkey. Qkey is a great card. Again, it can help us with the math for Bisharp. I can't stress enough how important the math for Bisharp is. I mean, in a perfect situation, you use Professor Qkey on a Mega Gardevoir, full HP, and then you hit them with Bisharp, and you have a Faded Town on top of that, that Gardevoir will get knocked out. So that could happen. Professor Qkey is a great card. I just, I'm testing it out right now to see how good it is. Um, for Bursting Balloon, again, it's kind of our tool card. And we got one float stone in the deck. Float stone just giving something at free tree cost. You can never go wrong there. And oh my god, I keep removing cards. What the heck? Oh, I'm not even pressing anything. Oh, for frig's sakes, dude. That's why I hate this laptop. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go try this deck out here on PCGO since we've kind of done. Oh yeah, and I play four DCs and I play seven Psychic Energy. There's my deck. Let's go hop into some matches on this game. Try the deck out and see how good it is. Maybe we can play against the Gardevoir deck and maybe I can prove to you guys how good my boy, um, what's his name, Bisharp is. And hopefully we can win enough games so that we can get a, uh, we can get to buy an Evolutions pack from the store. Uh, so that's going to be good. So, okay, where the heck is the Espeon deck? It's called Espeon Evolution, so it's going to be in the E. Where's the E at? There it is. Okay, there's the deck. All right, nice. So we got the deck and we're going to go try it out here. Hop into some matches. Espeon. I like Espeon. Now, we don't have Umbreon in the deck, and I don't know if you need Umbreon when you have Bisharp, since it's already a dark type. You can try Umbreon, but Umbreon, I'm going to cover a little later once I get Umbreon. Umbreon's too expensive, you know? Like, I don't... I only have so many stuff I can get Umbreon's for, and I don't want to... I don't want to get it now while it's super expensive. So, yeah. All right, let's go with the coin flip. Will we win it? A. Hey, all right, that's great. That means we might be able to get a turn two Psychic going. And some turn to evolutions. We're playing against what looks to be a Zygarde. So I'm a little, little iffy about that. If it is Zygarde, they also probably have, um, I think they have Jirachi in the deck too. Because I saw a Psychic uh, Metal type. So that can only be Jirachi. So we gotta be careful for that. But you know what? I'm feeling okay about this matchup. We don't have any way to kind of deal more damage to Zygarde. There's no like grass evolution. I mean, it'd be nice if, like, there was, like, a Leafy on that did it. But no, he's got a Pharaoh Thorn. Okay, that means I have to grab Flareon. So, you see, you gotta grab the Evolutions for these certain matchups. So, who knows? Maybe Flareon isn't too bad. We'll grab that Espeon. By the way, I think the normal GX artwork looks a lot better than the full art. The full art just... It, there's, like, nothing going on in that full art. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I personally think that the normal GX artwork is a lot better. So, I'm gonna do a level ball for an Eevee. And I think, I think I'm just going to pass. And the next turn, we can get Flareon, we can Ultra Ball, we can maybe get, like, another Eevee down. We can probably get, like, a Ponyard if we need to. There's a Bridget. We can see what my opponent is kind of running here with their uh, deck. I don't know. Okay. Is, I th are they doing a... Oh, don't tell me they're doing a Metal daily evolution i think they're doing their daily challenge where they have to get metal evolutions in play that uh, are they i think they are because 
Uh, I, I, yeah, they're definitely doing it. There's no way they're not doing their Metal Daily Challenge. And before, they're not Kappa. Okay, well, this is a little uneventful. Okay, yeah, they're def they definitely would have played an energy down. Well, then I'm going to just sweep them. Okay, kind of annoying, you know, kind of annoying that we're not actually playing against, like, a real deck. I mean, I've done this too before. I have a deck dedicated to doing these daily evolution challenges where I don't actually get any, um, where I don't do any damage. I literally just use it for doing these challenges. So, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed too. I mean, we were off to a decent start, so whatever, just in case. I don't even think Psybeam knocks out this thing. Yeah, because we're resistant. I just gotta get Psybeam working. Or I gotta get Psychic working, and then we should be good to just sweep my opponent. There's a Feral Thorn. Alright, and uh, there is a Bronzong. So yeah, my opponent is doing their Daily Evolution Challenge. I'm still gonna keep this in the video because I don't wanna end the recording and then re Then, you know, not e I don't even wanna restart it. You know, I went over all that deck explanation. I'm not restarting this, so we're just gonna keep this game in, and then we're just gonna find another game. I don't know, maybe I'll do a cutaway where it's like, ah, oh, yeah, this guy's playing a D. I don't know. Maybe I'll remove this. Maybe I won't. We'll see. But, hey, you know what? It's a free win, so I honestly cannot complain. You know, it's going to give me... I think it's going to give me the Darkrai EX off that ladder. And uh, I'll take a free win, you know? I'm not really going to complain too much. Um, but it's kind of annoying that it's going to happen during a video. I'd rather just happen just when I'm playing casually. But, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Just like Negan would say. All right, well. It's going to put a Jolteon in play. My opponent is saying heart. Probably realizes that my boy is doing thing i'm just gonna say smack it i don't even know i don't know all right now we can start doing side beam or psychic sorry uh so let's do psychic i think it's just gonna one shot him so we're doing 100 yeah we're doing 100 uh, we're only gonna be capping out at 100 though because all this resistant to oh my god this had to be against this deck if i had a dark energy this would be a lot better because then i could use ponyard and then hit for uh weakness but Nope, we kind of just have to, kind of just have to go through this beyond. Uh, it's a free win though, you know I cannot complain too much. You know, in the long run, a free win is always appreciated. It's always good to get a free win in. Um, so yeah, we kind of just have to go in with Espeon and just two-shot a lot of his stuff. Unless we can do Divide DX, which I don't mind actually doing. Uh, so there's a burst observation, so yeah, this is definitely the Daily Evo deck. Hopefully he finishes this challenge very soon. Sooner the better. Okay. So yeah, we're just literally just going to keep doing Psychic for 100 damage because of resistance. This would be a lot better if this was actually a game. <sighs> a little unfortunate, but uh, you know what it is. You know what it does. Alright, so Wally for whatever. I mean, it's a daily evolution deck. Okay. Now what? Please tell me you're done. I, I don't even know how many evolutions he's gotten in play, but he's gotten to have gotten a decent amount in. Yeah, he's gotten to have gotten a decent amount of evolutions in play. I don't know, maybe like seven? Oh, ah, whatever. Let's just keep doing Psychic. <sighs> Can't even show the true power of my boy SP on evolutions with Bishar, but you know, we're going to find some more games. If, and before we keep running into these daily Evo decks, which... You know what, it is what it is. We run into more, it's just, hey, it's, it's more free wins for us. I'll take free wins. I'm trying to grind that ladder out as much as I can so I can get those sun and moon packs. All right, so there's a Burgess Observation. All right, so is it going to get tails? Yes, it is. All right, now the thing is with sun and moon is a lot of stuff are valuable. Like, I can probably do an Incineroar GX deck soon since Incineroar GX isn't gold for much right now. I can probably build a... Um, Lorantis maybe? I don't know how cheap it is. Decidueye is going to be a tough one because of how expensive Decidueye is. Obviously, Sun and Moon is going to drop in value very soon. It's not going to be like all the cards from that set are going to be super you know, expensive forever. Soon, they're going to drop off in value and they're going to be a lot cheaper and a lot more affordable and easier to obtain and it will be better for me. So, that's the thing with making YouTube videos is... You gotta be wary. I know I have a lot of packs, but, I mean, I don't have that much. I only have, the most I have is, like, 45 Roaring Sky packs. I had to spend a few just to get a couple cards from Sun and Moon to begin with. So, uh, yeah, you know, Sun and Moon, it's a good set, but, you know, a lot of cards go for a lot right now. That's the thing with new sets, is when you're making YouTube videos, when a new set comes out, it's like, I have to get all these cards, and there's, like, no way I'm gonna be able to get all of them so expensive. 
I don't want to burn all my packs. I mean, that's just foolish when these cards drop off. So it gets tricky sometimes. That's why you got to kind of pre-prepare yourself. That's why I kind of stuck up on a lot of EXs before Sun and Moon. So I just trade off a bunch of stock EXs for just a bunch of Sun and Moon cards. Instead of having to burn through so many packs and so many other important resources. All right, there we go. My opponent, he got the challenge done, finally. Got the challenge done. And we don't even get anything off that. You got to be kidding me. We don't even get anything off of the thing. That is so annoying. We didn't... We we already got a box we already got. That's so. I hate that. I hate when you get a box you already got. Alright, but we got the Dark Eye EX, so it's good. What else is going to be on the ladder? Alright, yeah, so there's no Sun and Moon packs here, so we got to go through all these things to go to the next set of Sun and Moon packs. So that's going to be very fun to do. Alright, but it is what it is. So we're playing as a Dark Deck, fi uh, Grass Deck, finally. Hope, I swear to God, this is another Daily Evolution deck. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't think it will be. But this is fine, you know. We can use Flareon, and that'll be great. It might be Decidueye, which, hmm, if it's Decidueye Vileplume, that's going to be fun. Not really. Alright, so my opponent's going first. That I actually kind of don't like, because he might get a turn on Vileplume if it is Vileplume. We start with my boy Parnyard, now what I'm hoping for. I just got to hope he doesn't have any Vileplume in his deck, so that we can, you know, use a bunch of items turn one. So yeah, hopefully it's not some kind of vile plume decidui deck. Who knows? Nope, it's superior. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I forgot to put the sleeves on my deck. Oh, maybe it's superior decidui. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think you would run that. Hopefully this deck doesn't like you don't have vile plume, but it's most likely just gonna be like a superior deck, which I'm fine with. We can still hit for weakness. He is only using one energy though, which is a bit of a problem. Alright, we see the Servine, he can do the Serpentine attack, but that's fine. We're definitely going to get uh, another Pokemon play this turn, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so what are we going to top deck? Jolteon, you know what, Jolteon, we're not even going to need you this matchup, because he only played Pure Grass, so he clearly doesn't play Shaman or anything, so that's good. So we can grab an Eevee. we got to get rid of an Espeon, but you know what, there's a reason why we put a Super Rod in the deck, right? So let's grab the Espeon, get it into play. Alright, so is Flareon in the deck? The one time I need Flareon and it's prized. Right, that's a joke. Can we get an escape rope? I really want to side beam him. I just want to get damage on him since Flareon is prized. Oh, that sucks. Uh, there's a Ponyard, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just going to put a balloon on Ponyard and pass. So the next turn we can use... I mean, we can side beam him. That's so annoying. Why? Why do you have to be prized? Flareon, the one time we do not need you prized, and you're prized. Like, I give up. But you know what? If he attacks me, he's going to take 60 damage, and I'm going to be happy. Hopefully, we get Flareon off our prizes. I don't know. Maybe we can run Town Map in this deck. There's a Devo Spray. That doesn't really matter, though, because, I mean, we're not really using Ponyard. Plus, we can easily evolve an Abyss Sharp and get out of that Paralysis anyway, so it's not like it's a really a big deal. Still taking that Bursting Bloom damage, so I feel like he wasted that Devo Spray. Probably wasted that, because he could have used that for a better time, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Hopefully he doesn't play Enhanced Hammer, but whatever. Alright, let's go with the N, and alright, there's another Eevee. There is the Bisharp, which we didn't get an energy off, so I don't really see a point in playing the Bisharp down yet. So we'll play down Eevee, and we'll just put a Balloon on. I'll hold off on playing Bisharp for a sec. I don't even think I'm going to need him... Even in this game, because we can't really attack with him. He'll be good when we can use Retaliate when we have Flareon in play, because then we can do 180. But for now, he's kind of not really doing much. So, yeah. I don't really mind him wasting these Servines on my Ponyard either, because Ponyard is kind of just cannon fodder. Just letting him sit there so that we can build stuff up, I guess. And, right, you know, what doesn't matter that he gets hits. I still have the Bisharp going. I don't even know if I'm going to do Professor QK. I might want to hold on to that. Alright, so there is Superior, and you know what, attack me, and you're going to take your Bursting Blue damage. Nope, okay, fine by me. Alright, there's an Energy, but we can't retreat. I might just, I guess I'll attack with Bisharp, I don't really see a problem with that. Get damage on this thing anyways isn't really a big deal, it's a good thing. Alright, so let's do this, we can get rid of that Faded Town, or that Force Time Plants, and we can do Retaliate. It's not doing much, but... We're still going to get damage on this Superior so that we can knock it out with Espeon. I think that'll be good. Plus, Bisharp, kind of not really that good in this matchup, especially without that Flareon to aid us. So there is his Coil for 40. 
Can we get like another bursting balloon? No, more energies. Not what I need. Alright, yeah, I might as well just go for the retreat and then attack him. With Psychic, because Psychic knocks him out. I could bring up, or I could divide, nah, you know what, we'll divide Jets next turn. We can take out, like, Servine and then maybe put some more damage on Snivy. So let's take out the Superior. Can we get Flareon? Oh, we got an N. You know what, I'll take N. We kind of needed it, we kind of had a dead hand anyway, so I'll take the N. Now, hopefully Espeon does not, like, get paralyzed again, that would be great. Um, so there's a Fortunate Plants, okay. Does he have any supporter? If not, oh, he Ace Trainers me. Never mind. Can we get anything good off this Ace Trainer? We need to get that Flareon so that we can use Bisharp to our advantage, and then hit him for weakness. I mean, Bisharp's still doing 90, so it's still doing a decent amount of damage, but, yeah. There's Revitalizer. Oh, wait, hold, oh, he doesn't get Servine. Okay, never mind. Does he have Servine in his hand? Or does he have a way to get Servine into play? Yeah, alright, please do not get heads. Please do not get heads on this paralysis. Yes, thank god. Woo, thank god. Oh, please do not get heads. Please get tails. You got double heads last time, just get tails. Oh, for god's sakes. Alright, we need to find that escape rope then. There's the coil for 40. Can we get this escape rope so we don't have to deal with that thing? And really? Two DCs? That's annoying. Might as well just put that on Eevee. Because we're probably going to have to do the sycamore. If we get an escape rope, then... We'll retreat that Eevee, I guess. And then... do. Okay, there it is. Nice. We get the escape rope. Espeon has a one retreat. You know, actually, we could do this. We could do this. We can get rid of that. We can escape rope. Whatever he brings up will get knocked out, because I'll just use Divide GX on him. And then I'll take out the Servine, and then I'll just put more damage on the, uh, the Superior. So we'll do this. We'll play that Float Stone, so now we don't actually have to lose anything. So we'll do this. We'll put the balloon on, and I will go with my divide GX. Alright, so we will do one, two, we'll let's put the 40 on this guy. Oh no, we'll do the 30 on you. And then we'll take out this. I mean, no, we should have taken out that one, but whatever. You could have gotten a fresh superior in place, so I guess it is what it is. So we'll just knock out this servine right here. Alright, there we go. It is dead. Can we get Flareon off of the prizes? Please give me Flareon. No. Energy. I, I don't mind that, but it's not Flareon. Okay. Now, this thing doesn't have 90 HP, does it? Yeah, no. Well, if he attacks us, then we can hit him for bit with Bisharp. Alright. Yeah, we can do that. Now, hopefully he doesn't like Ace me again. That would suck. But he ain't knocking me out this turn. We can keep the Espeon threat alive for now. We can maybe even side beam him. I don't, I don't even know. Side beam might not actually be that bad here either because that could confuse him. We're kind of running low on bursting balloons until we get the uh, the teammates. So maybe we can do the side beam. Side beam might help us. So I'm considering doing side beam. I don't know. All right. So what is he gonna grab? Does he even run his own bursting balloons? That would be pretty bad if he did. But I would be tempted to just retreat into the flip to their Espeon, because I don't really mind losing his one psychic energy. So what does he grab with the teammates? All right, he gets another superior in play. That's fine. There's Super Rod, so I guess he grabbed that. Now the thing is, is the only he's coiling for 40 because that escape rope did shut down his coil effectiveness. So he gets a super rod for that. He probably won't be able to get a surviving play now. So he actually just goes straight in with a slashing strike. Just because he realizes that, oh, he can't really knock me out. Alright, this is a good opportunity to retreat for one energy. Because, you know, we got super rod, so it's fine. How many... Okay, we're going to have to play super rod soon. So we can do this. We're going to have to do the sycamore. But it is what it is. There's the other Eevee. And there's a eco arm we can actually play that and get those three bursting balloons back so let's do it let's do that eco arm get back three balloons and let's psychic him for the knockout now unfortunately we won't be able to put a balloon onto this espion but that's fine flareon please be flareon no shit no oh my god flareon why did you have to be the one time i didn't want flareon to be prized like <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's so tragic. Alright, so he actually does Ace Trainer fine enough, I guess. Let's see what we're gonna get here. I If, if Silent Lab in the deck, we definitely won't... I wanna get rid of that Force Time, please. Hey, speaking of Silent Lab, there's a Shaman, which we can play down too, I guess. See a Devo Spray on Eridos? Okay, I mean... I just wasted that, but that's fine. He could have used that for Servine, but I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain. And, alright, just a Quail for 40. Okay, seems good. Alright, what are we gonna top deck? An Energy, we can hold on to that. We can evolve into another Bisharp. And we can... I guess, yeah, we can do Setup, and maybe... Just maybe... We can get... Okay, yeah. Alright, there's a Super Rod... Which, yeah, I can play. We can get back, like, Espeon. We definitely need to get back some energy, so we'll do this. We'll just get back two of our psychic energies that we lost. Seems good. Now we can do the Silent Lab. How many DCs are in my discard? One. Okay, never mind, so we don't gotta do that yet. And I guess we'll just play a psychic energy on to that Espeon. And let's just hit him for psychic. We're still applying pressure. 90, day, 90 HP left. He didn't do Ariados last turn, I realized, either, so I don't really know what's going on there. He probably plays four Force of Giant Plants, so I don't really expect this Silent Lab to be in play forever. Unless his last Force of Giant Plants is prized. That would be great. If his last Force of Giant Plants is prized, then I'm going to be happy. But if not, I'm going to be upset. But we'll see. So he gets a Lysander, that's fine. I mean, even if he brings up Shaman and knocks it out, that's fine. You know, I don't really mind losing Shaman. Can make room for like a, another Espeon. So he's definitely gonna knock out Shaman. Nope, he's gonna knock out my other Espeon. Alright, that is fine by me. He is gonna take two prizes for that, but this means we can. I mean, we might as well just keep attacking with Espeon. I was gonna do Retaliate. Um, maybe I should, I don't know. Oh, there's an N. That's actually what I was looking for. So let's play the N. I don't really want to play anything else for my hand right now. So let's do an N. Okay, you know what? We'll go for Retaliate, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Retaliate. We can even put, like, a Bursting Balloon on to apply some pressure. So let's do Retaliate. Boom! 90 damage. You're dead. And can we finally get Flareon? No. My god, it's gotta be one of those two. Watch me not even get Flareon this game. Oh, if I win this without Flareon, I'm actually gonna be kind of happy. But we got a VS Seeker off the prizes, so it's not like the prize was, like, horrible. VS Seeker is definitely going to help us. So, he gets an Ultra Ball. You know what? I don't mind losing Bisharp, though. Bisharp is kind of just here to just to, just to, just to be here, you know. It's not really a big deal if he knocks it out. So, there's an Ultra Ball getting rid of an Ultra Ball and an Ultra Ball. So, he's digging. He's got to grab Servine. I don't really mind if Servine paralyzes me. He might not have anything else in his hand, which will be good. So let's see. So we see the Servine. Will it even get heads? Please just don't get... Please get tails. No, it gets heads. That's annoying. Uh, he's definitely not doing Vine Whip this turn. There's no way he's going to want to hit that Bursting Balloon. Oh, he did have a VS Seeker. Okay, never mind. That sucks. If he gets the Superior in play, again, I don't really mind him hitting the Bursting Balloon. I don't really mind losing Bisharp or even Bisharp not attacking. He's only doing 30 damage, even if I wanted a Q key for 50. It's not really a big deal losing my bishop right now so i'm fine and now oh, it is oh my god he has a fourth one it's not even prized which is annoying but he did waste that servine so i do not mind he still hasn't done ariados yet so i don't really know what's going on there there we go he finally does ariados will he get a superior how many does he have okay he still has two superiors left in his deck okay there's a level ball okay we could put the bursting balloon on we could play the level ball and we can grab an Eevee. We can try and get another Espeon, I guess, down. So we'll do this. Grab another Eevee. We'll do the Sycamore. Or end of four, but now we're only doing two. Let's go with Sycamore. So we can do the Sycamore. And, okay, I'm just going to burn this level ball since we're not going to need it anymore. I think I'm also just going to burn... The Ultra Ball and the Vaporeon, since we're also not going to need them anymore. So I'll just grab an Espeon. And we can put the Espeon down. Just trying to burn stuff. We aren't playing that Sycamore anytime soon either, so we got to keep an eye out for that. So, okay. 
Yeah, it's just so annoying though that my Flareon was prized. Like, what are the odds? The one time we're playing against a grass type deck and my Flareon just had to be prized. That is so annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, so again, the Bursting Balloon is still helping us here. We still have two left in our hand, so we can still keep putting Bursting Balloons onto my Bisharp. And, I mean, maybe we can get an Energy Retreat. So he actually does an end, which I'm fine with. I wasn't even planning on playing that Sycamore anyways, because I'm going to get decked out. Yeah, just keep giving me that Sycamore. So he still chooses not to attack me. Smart. Can we get an Energy so we can retreat? No, we get a Special Charge. Hmm. Thing is, okay, if I Sycamore... We'll be left with three. You know what? Let's go for it. I might still have an end left. I think I do. Oh, I don't even know now. This hand is crazy. But it is what it is. So let's retreat into Espeon. Oh, wait. No, no. I don't want to get rid of that. Ugh. What am I doing? All right. We'll get rid of that DCE. Bring up the Espeon. And we will knock him out with Psychic. If we get Flareon, then we basically are going to win. Flareon. Yes. Okay. Thank God. You came really late in the game, a little too late almost, but it's fine. It just means we can play Flareon down, and then we will be able to hit him for the weakness. Even if he knocks us out somehow, and teammates are, that just seals the deal for the win. That seals the deal. Unless, like, he plays red card, but I doubt he does. So, we basically win the game. We can play Flareon down, and we can hit him for Psychic for a knockout. Unless he does a Superior, unless he does Servine and Snivy and gets heads on it. But if not, then I'm fine. So, Poisonous Nest. I don't even know if I want to play the Flareon down right away, because that's an easy Lysander bait if he realizes. But no, just a Quail for 40. And just like that, we win the game. I mean, it was it was an interesting game. The Flareon being prized throughout the entire game really sucked. But we were able to come through with a win. Psychic for 180 damage. A goodbye to the Superior. And boom, we win the game. 25 coins, finally. All right, nice. We get some coins. I would have preferred, like, 50 or the 100 or the 70, 375, but whatever. All right, so I don't think we're we'll going to be able to get the chest this video either. All right, did my trade go through on pubs? No. All right, I have a trade up for a card. <laughs> I don't want to spoil what that card is, but it's for a card. All right, so we'll find another game. Again, you know, we only really have gotten one game so far because that game we got against that guy who was doing his daily challenge does not count. So we got to find another match here. Alright, I Psychic Water and Colorless, I don't know. Definitely like a Water type, the X. Alright, so let's go with the coin flip. We fail it, dang it. Alright, well, you know what, we can still do like turn 1 Side Beam, which is fine by me. I don't really mind that. Turn 1 Side Beam can always work, if we even start with Eevee. I don't really know my opponent's playing, like Water, Psychic, and Colorless. Could be like Mega Ray with Manaphy, could be water box but i don't really know why you'd play hoop on water box i'm thinking it's going to be like some sort of colorless with manaphy in it that's my guess right now that's my biggest guess so if it is i'm not too worried but i ain't too scared at the same time so let's see well, a lot of water decks do tend to need a lot of energy so yeah all right so we are going to mulligan but it's fine i still keep forgetting to put these sleeves on oh my god whatever we're just going to do this with no sleeves then Okay, so we are going to mulligan, but uh, yeah, my opponent is still taking a while, though. I don't know if he's got bad internet right now and he's lagging, or if he's just AFK and he's doing something else. And he's not really paying attention to the game, but uh, it's better not be the whole time. I don't want to have like a 50-minute game here. Like, I don't want to have this video be like two hours long because a guy was taking five minutes. So hopefully he speeds this thing up. Like, he better not be taking like 10 seconds in between turns, because I, I, I don't have that time for that. I do not have the time for that. I do not have the voice for that either. Because I cannot keep talking for like two hours. Yet this dude is taking ten minutes. Oh my god. Please. Oh, if he's lagging. Maybe if he's lagging, he'll get disconnected and then I'll win. I don't know. Alright, so let's see. What do we start with? We keep starting with Ponyard. Boy, like, Ponyard. You're cool and all, but I really do not want to start with you at all. I do not want to start with you. I mean, that's kind of why we have the Floatstone in the deck, too, so that if we ever start with Ponyard, it's also good to have Floatstone on Bisharp, because when you do the Retaliate for the 90, you can put a Floatstone on it next turn and then retreat and then save it for later, so that's kind of why I like that. But Ponyard, I don't want to start with you every single time, bro. 
getting kind of sick and tired of starting with Ponyard. I go, can we start with Eevee? I mean, better than Shaman, but uh, still. Oh my god, my opponent is taking forever, though. <sighs> We're gonna have to fight through this. For my opponent is taking like seven minutes. We're gonna have to fight it, and we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to try and. We're just gonna have to deal with my opponent. Oh my god! If I, if this dude takes like twenty seconds every time he wants to play a card, you know what? I hope this kid gets AFK so much that he just ends up missing a turn. You know, like you take like forever and you miss a turn. My opponent says hello. Okay, finally. Jeez. It looks like he's playing Regice, which I'm fine with because Espeon is a GX. All right, so let's play the N. Okay, what are we going to get? A Ooh, Escape Rope. Okay, that's actually good. I'm going to get rid of Profane. My opponent just immediately concedes. What was he playing? Okay, so this was kind of like Waterbox with Tauros. That's an interesting deck, though. You know what? I, I gotta give respect. That's a good deck. Red Jice with Lugia and Tauros. You got all these mix of attackers in it. That's a pretty cool deck. I'm probably gonna be making more Tauros decks, by the way. I don't just think that Evil Tall deck is my only Tauros deck. Did my trade go through? Dang it, I thought, because I went up in coins. We're gonna have to keep finding games, guys. I mean, so far, we're kind of 1-2 to two on actually getting in, like actual games with the decks. So, kind of annoying. But I don't mind. Well, actually, I do mind. Alright, Evil Tall. It's definitely Evil Tall. He's got the Evil Tall deck boxes. He's probably going to have Garbodor, but Jolteon can still come in clutch. Who knows? I mean, Espeon can still hit uh, Garbodor for weakness, so you got to keep that in mind. We win the coin flip, which is perfect. And the good thing, too, is if he uses Fright Knight, it's not really going to affect me too much, because SP. Why do we keep starting with stuff that isn't Eevee? I don't... Oh, my God. He... Oh, come on. This is so annoying, dude. I keep starting with Shaman. And Bisharp, or Ponyard, dude. Can I start with Eevee for once? Jesus. All right, whatever. We'll do the Nest Ball. We'll get an Eevee down. Is Jolteon in the deck? All right, good. Finally, for once, Jolteon is not, or an Evolution is not probably what we needed the most. I was going to put a thing on, you never know. Gold Sycamore. Can we get multiple Eevees down? All right. Oh, there's a Floatstone. Now I kind of regret that. All right, let's do Energy Evolution. I still think we do have it. We still have Espeon in the deck, right? No. Alright, whatever. And I guess I'll pass. Next turn, we can put a Floatstone on Shaman. And we can play the Espeon down. And we can end him. Maybe we could do Psychic. Or, you know, Psybeam either. I would have liked to have gone an Eevee down that turn. So that we... Another Eevee down. So we could have done... Um... A Jolteon. But, whatever. Hopefully my opponent does not get Garbodor down anytime soon. So, Ultra Ball. We'll see what he grabs with that. I mean, we can still do Psychic and go through Evil Tall, you know. It does it, Psychic is basically just like Evil Tall in a way, so or Evil Ball, so it's still good. So we grab Shaman, alright, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the Shaman. Bisharp wouldn't be bad either, because doing 90 to him when he knocks something out is good, because because he's only going to need one energy to attack, and Evil Tall needs to have more energy. And if it forces him to play more energy on his Evil Tall, we can do more damage with Psychic, so it works in our favor, Kappa. Alright, there's another Ultra Ball. Hopefully, and he gets into a Parallel City. I'm actually glad to see that get discarded. Will he get a Trubbish in play or not? If he gets the Trubbish, oh, not even Psybeam Lysander would knock it out. No, he grabs Evil Tall. Alright, you know what? The more turns you do not grab Trubbish, the happier I am. Now, I like my hand a lot, so hopefully we don't, like, get end or something. Because I really like having the Floatstone. Alright, there's Max Elixir. He probably, yeah, he probably has, like, a Sycamore in his hand or something. He fails the Max Elixir, so that's good. Yep, there's a Sycamore. And he gets rid of Umbreon. So he does run Umbreon GX in his deck. But he got rid of it, so now it's not going to be a threat anymore. So there is Max Elixir again. Let's see. Alright, so he does find a Dark. Does he run Tauros GX in this deck, too? Alright, so he puts a Dark on the active... Puts a belt on, that's fine. And oh my god, there's Trubbish. Just what I like to see. I hey look at that, we topped like a DCE too. So we can evolve into Espeon. I really do not want to get rid of special charge. I'm gonna have to end him. I'm not looking into getting rid of the special charge, because special charge is important. There's a hammer and an escape rope. Mm, I don't really need to see a point to an escape rope. Let's play the EV down. Let's play Silent Lab, I guess. Shut him down. 
I mean, it shuts us down too, but I don't really mind. And, alright, let's just do... We could divide GX and then knock out that Trubbish. But I'll do Psychic, because this way, when he puts another energy on, that lets his evil Tolly X get knocked out by Espeon, so we'll do that. We have a DC chilling in our hand, so even if he does Enhanced Hammer, we can play the DC right back down on, so it's good. Evil Tall doesn't do enough damage knock at Espeon, because we got 200 HP, but he goes with the Y Cyclone to save himself. Okay, that's annoying. We can still get rid of that DC and play, though. Alright, Eevee, I don't really need you right now, buddy, but... We can do Enhanced Hammer. I could... Maybe I'll Escape Rope. The Espeon is getting knocked out here. We weren't... We aren't able to get Jolteon in play. We don't have a Supporter. Espeon is probably going to get knocked out. Which is bad. We could Psybeam and then maybe Risk it. Uh, we could do... Or we could Psychic him, hit him for 90, but it won't knock him out. We could Divide GX, just take an easy prize on that Trubbish right now. And then maybe just put 30 on the Evil Toll. I think I might, I'm kind of tempted just to do Psybeam. No, but then he could do Max Elixir and then like an Energy Retreat, but... I don't mind that. Yeah, let's just Psybeam him. Let's kind of put him in a situation where it's like, hey, if you want to attack me, well, you're going to have to either find a way to get another energy on that bench evil tall energy on your active, you're going to have to find an escape rope, because you can't put a float stone on that evil tall because it has a funny fury belt on it. So we'll do that. That might have bought us a turn. We kind of need the turn because we don't really have much right now in our hand. We don't even have a balloon either, which is sad. I really wanted to get a balloon. We need to find a supporter. But my opponent actually just didn't see the game. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. We get tournament tickets. Screw off. I really want coins, but it is what it is. My opponent does end up conceding, so that did end up working out for us in the end. So, you know, that's a good thing. And we'll find another game. I want to find at least one more game with the deck, and then I'll probably just end the video off. I'm surprised my opponent did concede that game, though. I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, I ain't gonna complain, you know? So... We'll find one last match with this Espeon deck. Even if some of the games weren't as good, it's fine. And, a hey, a Psychic deck. Alright, is this going to be an Espeon mirror match, or is he going to be playing a Mewtwo Y Garbodor? I'm hoping for Mewtwo Y Garbodor. Alright, I'm going to go with Tails here on the Cyndaquil coin. And it paid off. Alright, sweet. Hopefully we actually start with Eevee this time, and we do not start with, like, something I don't want to start. Oh my god, Ponyard, stop starting with... Oh my god, can I stop starting with my Ponyard? Jeez, man. I keep starting with Ponyard. It's actually annoying me. Alright, yeah, it looks like it is going to be Mewtwo White Garbodor, but... We still need to get something good here off of a top that we have, like, no other supporter. And we keep starting with Ponyard. If we had an Espeon start, this would be going so much smoother. But for the love of god... Now, Espeon does get wrecked by Mewtwo, but we still wreck him, so it's all good. So let's draw an extra card in Energy. I don't need that. But, you know what? I'll take that. We can actually do Ultra Ball for Shaman. Alright, so we could do this. We can get Espeon into play, and... Hmm. Alright, we can Ultra Ball and get rid of Lysander, and... We'll get rid of Bursting Balloon. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Balloon. We could have gone rid of Via Seeker and maybe played it, but whatever. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe the minimum of misplay, but whatever. It's fine. I don't even think he's going to be attacking me anyway. So we'll play down Shaman, set it for three. Maybe we can get like an N or something. Nope. More useless stuff. We're going to have to pass, but it's fine. You know what? If he wants to knock out Ponyard, it's all good. Because Ponyard is kind of just a pawn in this matchup, you know, Kappa. Um, okay. So honestly, I don't even mind not even knocking out that Trubbish because we don't need any of our Evolutions this game. Because it's a Mewtwo deck, so Espeon is going to have to do all the work. So, I don't really mind sitting back and setting up Espeons, because Espeon's going to be knocking Mewtwo out. And we don't need any of our evolutions to play, so I do not mind sitting back a little bit and letting... Because uh, Ponyard is resistant to Psychic, so it kind of gives us some turns to kind of build stuff up. So, I don't really mind this at all. There's an Ultra Ball. We can even Lysander that Hoopa up and kind of trap it there. We can even knock out Hoopa if we really wanted to. Alright, so there is the Hyperspace Fury, but I don't really mind at all. I don't mind. 
So he does grab the two Mewtwo EXs. Okay, that's fine. And alright, so there's one Mewtwo going down. He's probably going to play the other one down. Does he get a Mewtwo Spear Link in play? Does he find a Mewtwo Spear Link? Does he even have a way to get this Trubbish out of the active spot? I don't mind that Trubbish just sitting there for a bit. So that we can build up some Espeons. Because Espeon is going to be our best friend here. Will he end me? No. Will he bring up Shay? If he brings up Shaman, I'll just do Sky Return for 30. And then keep that Ponyard in the active spot. I don't mind if he wants to do Shatter Shot on me, because then we can knock him out with Psychic. So he does bring up Shaman. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, we can do... We can easily just do a Sky Return on him. And that brings Shaman back to my hand. So that's actually helping us, too, because then we can do Setup again. Alright, so there's the Mewtwo Spear Link. I'm going to trap that Hoopa in the active spot, I think. There's a DC. You know, yeah, I keep putting energy on that. Alright, if we get a Float Stone, we can take that Mewtwo down right now. We don't get it. I don't want to risk it either, so... Yeah, let's just do this. We'll trap that Hoopa. I guess we'll Shaman for two. I don't know. Alright, let's see. What is this going to gift us with? Sight Lab. Don't need that at all right now. So let's go with Sky Return. Hit that thing for 30. And bring up Bonyard. We could bring up Shaman and keep the Sky Return going. Maybe I could have done that, but whatever. It's fine. We'll bring up the Ponyard. And I kind of just want him to end me out of this bad hand. And in any situation, we will do the first Lysander on that Mewtwo, which I really want to do. But we need to get more attackers going very soon. So, yeah. Sycamore, you couldn't have been... Please don't tell me he has end in his hand, alright? He does have to get rid of more Mewtwo's, though. I don't even... He has, like, no Mewtwo's left, actually. So if we can take out this Mewtwo as soon as possible, this is going to be good. Puts another DC. He's really looking into getting that Espeon knocked out, dude. We need... To find something ASAP. There's a Shrine of Memories. That doesn't really matter. There's a Mewtwo Spirit Link. But we already took out... You already lost two Mewtwo, so it's fine. Okay, come on. Give us, like, a Float Stone. I don't need that. But... I am going to put an Energy on. I'll play the Sign Lab down. And we'll just do Charge Order. I don't know. Maybe that'll actually help us, Kappa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll do that, and then what we'll do next turn is we will retreat and then Lysander that Mewtwo. Uh, maybe I'll just make him think that I don't have anything, I don't know. Maybe he's like, okay, maybe he's going to go for a Psybeam and knock out the Hoopa or something. Maybe he's thinking, yeah, maybe he thinks I'm just going to Psybeam the Hoopa. He probably thinks I have a dead hand, but next turn, if he doesn't, uh, no, we have Slant Lamp playing. I was going to say we can play Shaman down and get more cards, but it is what it is. Next turn, we can take the first knockout on that Mewtwo. If he doesn't knock us out. He needs to have a float stone and a Lysander to knock us out. So let's hope he doesn't have that. Let's hope he doesn't have that. Maybe I shouldn't have placed on down and make him do the Garbodor and waste a float stone on that. Now I kind of regret that. Maybe maybe he'll bump it for like Shrine of Memories. I don't know. Oh, there, oh, okay. Please do not have Lysander. He does have one in his discard. If he if he hits his Lysander, uh, Ultra Ball, that's fine. You can't really do Shaman right now. Gets rid of another Mewtwo Spearling, jeez. He doesn't... I don't think he plays four Mewtwo, so... Can't really grab a Mewtwo. He plays four Mewtwo Ys! What kind of a deck is this? Alright, what's that last card in your hand gonna be? Yes! Okay, thank god. Unless he catches me, which I doubt he will, we can knock out that Mewtwo Y. But we need to get some stuff going, though, soon, because he has another Mewtwo Y. Why does he play four Mewtwo's in his deck? He does get rid of my Shrine of Memory, so as long as he doesn't get that Garbodor ability in play, I'm fine with that. So he just straight up goes for the knockout. Alright, that's fine. Ponyard, you did good. I don't know why he plays four Mewtwo YEXs. That is super annoying. But whatever. Can we find like an end though too? Bit oh man, you came a little late, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna have to do the super rod. I need to lower my hand size as much as I can. I'd love to do Lysander, but we can't. We got a Shaman for one. It's embarrassing, but we got to do it. What is it going to be? Nest Ball? All right. That actually gets us another Eevee down, which is fine. We already attached, so we can't really do anything else. So, Psychic. Knock out this Mewtwo. We're doing a ton of damage. Like, I think we're doing, like, over 500. No, just 300. Never mind. We can take two prizes. Can we finally get a supporter? An N, N, and N. All right. There you guys are. You were hiding in my prizes. The whole time, and before all my Sigmars are prized. Now, Espeon might be getting knocked out here by another Mewtwo. He needs a DCE. Actually, no, he brings up Hoopa. Okay. 
I mean, that's weird because Espeon can actually... Well, it won't knock out Hoopa, but it's weird. I'll just end up Lysandering that Mewtwo if he doesn't retreat this Hoopa. So there's the Ultra Ball. He probably has a Floatstone. I do not see why he would have brought it out. So he probably has a knockout. If he doesn't knock me out, then what I can do is I can put the Psychic Energy on and build up another... Um, I can build up another Espeon. So, alright, we see him grab another Mewtwo. That's fine. If he doesn't retreat this Hoopa, we can just knock that Mewtwo out next turn. So, hopefully, he does not retreat it. He's probably going to retreat it, though. He actually ends up ending me, though. Alright, that's kind of annoying. That means we won't actually be able to do the knockout, which sucks. But, who knows? Maybe we can actually get a decent hand. Like, a Sycamore would be great. Alright, we still get an Espeon. That's fine. We get a Bursting Bloom, which isn't bad, either. We do have an end, too. Alright, there's Mega Turbo. If we get a Via Seeker top deck, we can knock out that Mewtwo, which I really want to do. I really want to knock that thing out. If not, I might just do Divide GX on that Garbodor and take that thing out. That might actually help, so who knows. So please do not knock me out here. Please do not knock me out. Yes! Alright, can we get a Via Seeker? No level ball, though. I'll take it. We can get more EVs going. The more EVs, the merrier, right? And I think I'll just do Divide GX to knock the thing out. Psychic is not knocking him out. It's only doing 120, and he's going to live. So we can play down an Espeon. We can put that on. I'll put a Bursting Balloon on. And I guess we'll end. I don't want to end him to 5, but I need to find something. Oh, still no Via Seeker, dude. Come on. Faded Town, though. I like to see that. And... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do Divide GX and just take out that Garbodor. So let's go. One, two. We got to click this ten times, but it's fine. We can take out this Garbodor. I don't know how useful that'll be, but hey, you know what? We'll do it anyway. So let's take out Garbodor here. And we'll take a prize. So let's go. Buy Garbodor. That is our GX attack, but it's fine. I wish Divide did more damage, so that's kind of bad. Uh, an energy... I guess I'll take it. I would like a Via Seeker. Faded Town's kicking in on that Mewtwo, which is nice. The more that Faded Town stays in play, the more damage that Mewtwo's taken, and uh, that's good. Mega Turbo. He's putting a lot of energy on this thing. Okay. Does he have a knockout, though? You know, if he doesn't, we're still not knocking him out, which sucks, but gives us more turns, so it's fine. He needs to find a Super Odd, too, to get more Mewtwo's in play. So you gotta be careful with that. I don't mind knocking out this Hoopa, though, with Espeon. I don't think that's a bad thing. He puts more energies on G's. Does he have a way to retreat this Hoopa? Uh, yeah. Does he have a way to retreat the Hoopa? If not, then I'm gonna keep building up my energy. So he actually ends up ending me again. Oh my god. How many ends are you gonna do to me? Gosh. Alright, so what is this hand going to be like? Can we get a Sycamore? No, we don't even get energy. Alright, so he still doesn't do anything. If we get a Via Seeker, I'm going to be happy. No, we get a Bursting Balloon. That's annoying. Speaking of Bursting Balloon, though, let's go with Psychic for 120. Not knocking out Hoopa, but it's fine. Faded Town doing a lot of damage to that Mewtwo, though. I mean, at that point, we could just knock him out with Bisharp, Kappa. Yeah, I mean, that Mewtwo's taking a lot of damage. There is the Trainer's Mail. He's really digging for Floatstone. Or, like, a way to switch. I mean, we're dead drawing right now, though, which is really bad. That N is screwing me over horribly. We can't even do Ultra Ball for Shaman. Which sucks. So I'm just hoping this Mewtwo, this Hoopa stays active for one more turn. We can knock it out. We can knock it out, which I really want to do. We need to find, like, an energy, though, ASAP. We don't get an energy. This Mewtwo is not... is gonna wreck us. And that ain't good. That is not good. I don't want to get wrecked by Mewtwo. Maybe he'll end me to three again. Maybe he'll be nice and end me to three. I don't know. He's put more energies on Mewtwo. Dang. I don't, know, I don't know why he's not attached to the other Mewtwo. I'm trying to build that up, but... I'm not gonna complain. Alright, there's Sycamore. Please do not get a way to switch. He gets rid of a Super Rod. Why didn't he do Super Rod? Oh, he's... I guess he's really digging for Floatstone, then. He didn't even do Super Rod. Alright, there's Floatstone. We are going to get knocked out. He's going to take a lot of damage, though, so we would theoretically be able to knock him out with Retaliate if we wanted to, which is nice. Yeah, he's going to take 80 damage just for attacking me, because that Fated Town is going to kick in, unless he gets rid of it. 
So let's see what happens here. We need a top deck, though. Like, if any time we needed a top deck, it is now. We can get via Seeker for N. We can get Sycamore. We need to get a top deck ASAP. If we don't get one, we may lose, because if he keeps taking out that Espeon, uh, it's going to go downhill. He did get rid of that Super Odd, and I, I he probably didn't play it, because he needs to get that one Float Stone. And he doesn't attack? Okay, and we get an energy, yes, nice, nice, we can put that onto Espeon, and yeah, we can Psychic and knock him out, even if he ends me to one, I'm still in a good spot, because we got another Espeon built up, taking two prizes, can we get some Sycamores going here, yes, via Seeker, I like to see you, you're really nice, he's probably going to end me to one though, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but that Mewtwo basically is going to get knocked out either way by my Espeon or my Bisharp, and yeah, we can win the game from there. So let's see if we're able to do So he puts an energy on that. All right, you know what? It's fine. Will he end me to one? He's most likely going to do an end to one. No, just a second infinity for the knockout, which means we win the game, folks. We win the game, and we are going to be doing a ton of damage with Psychic here. And I'm actually kind of excited to see how much. Please don't concede. Let me just do Psychic to you. Please let me do Psychic. All right, let's go for it. Boom, big bang. Psychic knocks him out. And that is game against this Mewtwo deck. 480 damage. Holy cow. You can see why Espeon wrecks Mewtwo. And uh, yeah, I think that'll wrap things up. I know I didn't get in the most eventful games. But you know what? I've been recording for so long. Hey, 50 coins. We can actually get a pack, I think. Can we get a pack? We still have 200. We should. No, we're five coins off. What? Oh my god, that's a joke. We can't even get a pack. Uh -huh. Hey, but we did get that trade. Mm, nice, we got that little, ah, you can't, it's about what I was getting, but whatever, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, hit like button, do not forget to subscribe for more PTCGO content, help me on the road to 2k subs, I'll see you guys on another Sun and Moon video, peace out.